I'll have a cartoon that defined our childhood. One that, when we think back on, it brings us good memories. Not one that terrified us and gave us nightmares like some of these shows. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 kids cartoons that are actually terrifying. Starting off this countdown, we have Angela Anaconda. Now, this was a Canadian-based cartoon, so I'm not sure if anyone outside of Canada got to experience this show. Lucky you if you didn't. But basically, Basically, the show's style is very creepy. It's like mixing real life faces into the cartoon world. The human faces and bodies are all gray, but everything else is in color. So many people have commented on the show's style saying it creeped them out or gave them nightmares. And I can see why. Just the way that the characters move their lips and eyes are just it's so creepy. And the opening theme song does not help their case. During the song, you see Angela sabotaging her rival and ends up dropping a heavy stage curtain on her. Angela is not a nice girl. She definitely has a dark side. And in our ninth spot, we have Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Friends. Oh, based on the title, it sounds like it should be like a pretty sweet, innocent cartoon, right? Well, let's look at the characters in the show. You have Bounce, this blue character with a massive smile and orange eyes with orange eyelashes. Then you have Dragon, a dragonfly with long sharp eyelashes and blue eyes. Honestly, just you gotta look at the pictures. They're pretty terrifying. But the worst character would have to be Spiderus, a white spider with a weird human head and red lips. Then you have his wife that literally looks like the devil. Like, what's with these characters? They're all terrifying looking. Moving on to number eight, we have, ah, real monsters. Okay, I never watched the show as a kid and I'm happy I didn't. You'll understand in a second. So this show is about a group of monsters in training. Ickes, Oblina, and Crumb are all monsters who attend a school to learn how to frighten humans. Kind of sounds like Monsters University and Monsters Inc. once I think about it. Now let's take a look at the design of these monsters. They are so creepy and you cannot convince me otherwise. So let's start with Ickes. Probably the least scary looking one. Ickes is like a little gremlin with a wide Cheshire cat smile but his eyes turn red and his teeth turn sharp when he scares people. Then we have Oblina. She's like an evil black and white candy cane looking creature, but take a look at her beady little glowing green eyes and huge lips and mouth. Oblina is like a serpent type creature that can contort her body. She can use her teeth, lips, and tongue to scare people. Then you have the scariest one of all, Crumb this naked looking monster. He literally has detached eyes, so he's always stuck holding them up in the air. And he's covered in hair and it just looks super disturbing. His scare tactic is to use his grossness to frighten humans. Well, they succeeded with that. So yeah, the creatures alone make this show terrifying. I would be shocked if it left a lot of kids scarred. In our seventh spot, we have the real Ghostbusters. Yes, our classic movie had a cartoon as well. This was a 1986 show filled with terrifying monsters. If this show was still around today, you know there would be tons of moms complaining about it, saying it's not appropriate for the kids, blah, blah, okay, Karen. So let's talk about some of these creepy monsters. So up first, we have Akira. This is the demon version of a Mesopotamian goddess of disease and death. She basically wants to create chaos through disease. Her appearance is disgusting with a shriveled green zombie looking face with worm type creatures for hands. Each worm has its own face with a tongue with sharp spikes on it. Akira would then infect other individuals which causes them to get big boils on them. These boils were in fact her offspring. Then you have Vathic and his pals. Vathic is a big blob type butcher creature with a buzz saw in his head. His friend Grizzle is shown with his mouth sewn shut and dentist drills for hands. Then you have Corpsicle, a big blob with no face and just hands for eyes. Moving on to number six, we have Tales from the Crypt Keeper. I'm sure all of you 90s kids remember this show. I certainly do. All right, so the Crypt Keeper plays the host of the show who introduces what each episode is going to be about. The series then goes on and talks about classic legends like stories of vampires, zombies, and werewolves. But a lot of the episodes have scary monsters that scare the human characters. Let's talk about the two most frightening episodes in my opinion. Starting off, we have the episode titled The Weeping Woman, where Camille and Mildred visit a haunted Victorian mansion. At night, they are woken up by creepy moaning and objects flying around. 
that's when we see the weeping woman. An old eyeless and toothless woman with scraggly gray hair and long black nails. The second night, the woman looks even more terrifying with red glowing eyes. She ends up chasing the girls around the house. Not to mention chasing one of the girls to the top of the roof where she almost gets pushed off to death. Then you have the other episode titled Sharon Sharelike. This is an episode about a girl named Shauna who refuses to share her toys with her little sister Katie. As a result, she hides one of her old toy dolls in the vent so her sister can't play with it. Then the doll ends up coming alive and haunting her. The episode is really, really creepy with the doll coming alive and saying things like, you're not nice, I don't like you. The doll ends up chasing her all over the house, giggling and chanting her name. Move over, Annabelle, okay? We got a more terrifying doll here. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Scooby-Doo, my favorite cartoon of all time. But I had to put it on the list just because some episodes actually gave me the creeps. So I'm sure we all know about Fred, Daffy, Velma, Shaggy, and of course, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, my favorite group of meddling kids that solve mysteries. Some of the villains are pretty creepy. Like the episode titled Vampire Bats and Scary Cats, where the team visits Daphne's friend Lisa and they encounter a vampire. The vampire ends up turning Lisa into one as well. When this happens, she turns and looks directly into the camera and growls. Just the image of her scary vampire face is just ingrained in my mind forever. Then you have the episode with the ghost clown, who, again, looks very creepy, and hypnotizes Shaggy, Scooby, and Daphne to all do dangerous circus acts. I didn't think that they could make clowns any scarier until this one came along and manipulates and hypnotizes people. How about the episode with the phantom green ghosts and their terrifying cackly laugh? Later on in the episode, the crew finds five coffins, with one shaped like a dog. When they open them, it reveals some of the characters unconscious in there. I think the scariest thing is how whenever they make a ghost or monster appear, it's always like a POV zoom effect style. So it shows the monster closing in on you as they directly stare right at you. And lastly, we have the episode where the gang visits a sanatorium with a crazed doctor character with green glowing eyes. In the episode, you can literally see dead bodies under a sheet being brought in and out. Although they weren't real bodies in the end, it's still not kid friendly. In our fourth spot, we have Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yes, I know, I've talked about Courage so much on this channel, but it's freaking creepy. One of the episodes that scared me as a kid was the one titled King Ramsey's Curse. That's right, the Egyptian pharaoh makes an appearance in this episode. So Eustace ends up finding and keeping an ancient Egyptian slab. As a result, he's visited by King Ramsey. King Ramsey just appears outside their home. He's swaying back and forth. He's like, we're tearing the slab. It's like, okay, now it's funny, but back when I was a kid, it was terrifying. That alone can just send shivers down your spine. Then you have the episode Freaky Fred, where Mariel's cousin Fred comes into town to visit. Fred looks insane with his creepy wide mouth smile and slanted eyebrows. What's even worse is that he has creepy inner dialogue that only the audience can hear. And it's entirely in rhymes. Let's not forget about the episode where Muriel gets possessed. Or how about the episode where that glowing white human face visits their home? All are perfect examples of how disturbing that show really was. But it's also a really good show, can't lie. In our third spot, we have Martin Mystery. Another one of my favorite cartoons as a child. Although certain episodes definitely scared me. So this show surrounds Martin Mystery and Diana Lombard, two 16-year-old step-siblings that work for an organization referred to as The Center. Basically, their job is to solve cases and protect people from supernatural threats. There are multiple episodes that are completely messed up. The one I remember giving me nightmares when I was younger is the episode titled Revenge of the Doppelganger. Basically, in this episode, women are being attacked by some sort of electrical shadow that completely erases their face. In the episode, this creature attacks multiple women that all have similar features and steals their faces, leaving them looking like creepy mannequins. Or how about the episode The Nightmare of the Coven, where three students use a book of spells and release this witch demon thing. The witch ends up turning more of the female students into witches. They all look terrifying with their sharp teeth and green skin. And then we have the episode The Body Swappers, which is a reference to the movie The Thing. Basically, this organism creature goes around using humans as its hosts. In the episode, whoever the organism gets to turns them into big monsters with sharp teeth and long tentacles. And there are plenty of other horrifying creatures seen throughout the series that will definitely give you the creeps. In our second spot, we have SpongeBob. Yes, 
I know you wouldn't think that this show would be on the list since it's about a cheerful little sponge, but there are numerous episodes that are quite scary. Let's start off with the episode where SpongeBob thinks he kills the health inspector, and then him and Mr. Krabs literally have to dispose of his body, which goes terribly wrong, and they just keep moving and hiding the body so that the cops don't catch them. Don't worry, turns out he wasn't dead, but it's still pretty terrifying. Or how about the hash slinging slasher episode? when Spongebob and Squidward work the night shift and believe they are visited by a dead fry cook with a rusty spatula as a hand. Or the episode where Spongebob gets injected by snail plasma and slowly turns into this creepy looking snail. There are so many more episodes that I can name, like when Spongebob gets a splinter and turns into this huge weeping red sword. The list goes on and on. The hooky episode, oh my gosh. And in our number one spot, we have the show Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. This show is about terrible kids receiving cruel and gruesome punishments for their behavior. Honestly, it's a good way to scare your kids into behaving nicely. In one episode titled Death by Chocolate, it surrounds this greedy girl who we see indulging in tons of chocolate. She's also quite rude to her sister, often calling her a slave. Well, she gets instant karma as a fly ends up laying an egg in her chocolate bunny. She ends up eating a maggot and as a result she turns into a giant fly in which her sister kills and then chocolate just spews everywhere. Like that's terrifying, she literally killed her sister. Next we have the episode The Spaghetti Man. Basically it's about a bunch of picky eaters who then get captured by the spaghetti man. The spaghetti man then turns the kids into spaghetti and eats them for dinner. At the end of the episode, it's implied that a family ate their own son for dinner since he got turned into lasagna noodles. And then they're shown eating the lasagna. Like, is that even considered cannibalism? I don't even know. And that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from my video, Top 10 Scary Ancient Aliens Theories. Grace and June commented, Aliens have to be real. There's too many places unexplored in the universe for there not to be. Honestly, who knows? Maybe galaxies far, far away, there's some sort of aliens. Maybe like not the typical ones that we think that are like green and they're like, we come in peace, but like maybe some sort of creature like them. I'm scary to think about. Raven Taylor commented, you left out the fact that octopuses have three hearts and nine brains. Nine brains? I did not know that. And three hearts? Jeez. Also, I did research and you can say octopi or octopuses, okay? It literally, I searched it and it says either one is acceptable. I know octopi sounds better because like, I don't know. But still, okay, so when I said octopuses and the thing, it's fine. Gabriel Mesa commented, Lindsay is an alien probably. They're on to us. They're on to me. They're on to me. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.